Hi everyone, my name is Ron Glick. I am today trying to show off some cards that we're trying to liquidate for a nonprofit that has dissolved, Game Hearts. The purpose of Game Hearts was to promote adult sobriety through alternative gaming activities when we literally solicited millions of gaming cards to serve that purpose. And as you can see behind me, we have games ranging from Star Wars over my right, World of Warcraft, um, Magic, Ultimate Combat. Today we're going to be working on the Magic. Um, we're going to be showing off the magic cards to kind of give people a walkthrough idea of what we have here on hand. Um, if you come over here, Tim, Tim is my friend who's going to be shooting for me. We have about roughly 60 boxes of magic. Uh, there's over 300,000 cards here. We have the organized boxes. There's 27 organized boxes, 5,000 count boxes um, that range everywhere from revised all the way, unlimited revised, all the way up through magic origins. We also have cards in the um, unsorted cards right here, which these other boxes, which are about 30 boxes of unsorted. And I'm going to go ahead and just take a box off the top here and kind of give you an idea of what is in some of these, bo these unsorted boxes. And we have like, we have cards here that are from ninth edition. Come over here. There's cards from, from different sets that we have that are all in very, very good shape, as you can tell. But there's just no order to this, no organization to them. And there are rares floating around in here. There's uncommons floating around in these boxes. I know at one point um, I put a cluster of rares into one of these boxes that has some planeswalkers and some more, a bigger, larger cluster of rares and foils. Um, and then we also have, I want to get a chance to show you some cards from, ah, if I don't drop them here, um, some cards from the organized boxes. This box here is just primarily foreign cards, but I can move down here to the next box below. This is Urza's Legacy for the World Wake. And again, you can see on the inside of these boxes that there is, they're broken down by set, they're alphabetized by set, they have little tags. You pull out the cards and you can tell they're all in great shape. Defender of Chaos there. Um, you have Cackling Fiend right there. And you can tell they're all in great shape. They're not in, in, worn shape at all. These are all in near mint or better condition. And all of these cards basically have that going for them. The unsorted obviously don't have any of this organization to them. Now we also have the rares binder, which is over here, which I'll take a moment to put these back in place. And then I can give you a chance to look at the rares binder. As you can imagine, there's a lot of work involved with moving the box around. But this rares binder right here, it starts out with some beta lands. There's not very many of them. There's some swamps. And then we go into the regular rares and higher demand cards. These are cards from Revised, for instance. It goes to the base sets, and then it goes into the alphabetized other sets. And we have like Rock Hydra and Pegasus and Sanctuary, Mesa Sanctuary, uh, and stuff like that. You can see here as we flip through the pages, and these are all in great shape again. Some of these probably have some wear to them, but for the most part, you can tell they're, they're in pretty good shape cards. There's no obvious wear on the cards. These are cards that are in great condition. And obviously a lot of these are out of print. You can go into the range here. I'm gonna flip around a little bit um, so we can try to make sure this video is short enough that I can actually upload it realistically. Uh, but you can see over here, like for instance, we have some Magic 2011. And then we go into some Befoils. Um, there's actually some signed cards in here floating around as well. Let me see if I can get to some of those. Like here's some Alliance cards. And of course into Chronicles that we have. Before we get to Chronicles, we have um, the Kamigawa sets. The Champions of Kamigawa, the Creators of Kamigawa. We have some of those in here. And here we have some more foils. This is of course Ascension. I was thinking that we had some of the signed cards in this set. Here, for example, here's one of the signed cards. And these cards that are in here are actually verified, have actually done, done the effort of actually tracking down the artists and verifying they're the actual autographed cards. These are not just people signing people's names to them. But you can see the binder pages are all full. We have some Exodus over here. There are occasional places where some of the cards have been taken out and just haven't been filled yet, but for the most part, the pages are filled. And as you kind of flip through here and get an idea, here's some more signed cards here. If you can come down here and get the silver ink on these particular cards. You can see that these, are, these cards are signed. Um, but 
and like I said, they float around from different sets. Here's some Ice Age. And they go down to different places inside here. And of course, here's some foil lands that we have from Invasion. And again, these some Mercadian Masks. As we have different cards here from different sets. It's impossible to sit here and go card by card by card. It just simply isn't possible to do that and have a realistic video that can be uploaded in a short amount of time. But I'm trying to give a broad overview of what is here. As you can see, here's some from Odyssey. And of course, Planet of Chaos. As we're flipping through here and showing you the different sets. Back down to Hinata Saviors of Kamigawa. And again, just flipping, trying to flip through is trying to show as much detail as I can in as a shorter period of time as I can, because obviously we're not going to be able to show every single card. We have some time spiral. And then we go in flipping over here. More time spiral. These are the insert cards, the reprints from different sets. And of course, there's some unglued and unhinged cards. Weatherlight, Visions, Zendikar, etc. So, and if you come from the side of this binder, you can see, how, even though I flipped through it fairly quickly, it's a, there's my hand. So you can get an idea. This is about, about a three or four inch thick binder. It's got a lot of cards in it. Um, there's a couple hundred pages here, probably, of cards. And I want to make sure I get these back in here. But as I said, this is the walkthrough, and the idea is to give you a general overview of what is available. Don't come into this, okay, don't come into this thinking there's power nine cards in here, because there's not. We're not. I'm not trying to misrepresent. We don't have several thousand dollar cards. These boxes are represent cards that were sent to us and donated to us that were given to us. We wrote tax receipts, and then we uh, accepted them, made decks, gave them away. So if you have any other questions, of course, feel free to call me. Uh, my number is 406-871-3893. We are accepting bids on the lot. We project the lot to be worth seventy-five dollars to $100,000, but we're not looking for anything close to that, just a reasonable amount that we can redirect back into other charity. Thank you, and of course, as I said, get back in touch when you have any questions. Thanks. Bye.